creating a request in the ETS customer portal. Request, also known as service requests, include requests to install new workstations, update personal data, or access information. In relation to the service catalog, requests are known as request catalog items. Need something new installed by ETS? Stop by the ETS customer portal and create that request. To create a request, visit service.wio.gov. When logging into the ETS customer portal, you will need to use your AD login followed by at wio.gov and then your password. This is not your email address. This is the same login that you use when logging into your computer, then adding at wio.gov. For example, I use john.do and a password to log into my computer. So to log into the ETS customer portal, I would use john.do at wio.gov as my username and then my password. Once you're on the homepage for the customer portal, Click on the blue icon that says Request Something. On the next page, click on the kind of installation you need. Software installation is for programs that run on your computer. Hardware installation is when you need a laptop, printer, or other device setup. In this training, we're going to go step by step on how to install hardware. So select Hardware Installation. On the Hardware Installation page, the requested for an agency will automatically populate with your name and agency. If you are creating this request for someone else, please choose their name and their agency. In the Have You Purchased This Already menu, you will be given the option to choose between No or Yes. In order to continue with this request, you must answer Yes. If you choose No, you will see a pop-up telling you to submit a quote request before submitting this item you will not be able to submit your request at this time. So we're going to go ahead and select Yes. In the Describe Equipment to Install field, you can describe the equipment that needs to be installed. For example, a printer, keyboard, speakers, or webcam. Fill out the install location. Please note that this must be a government office location. Next, choose your preferred time of day. You can choose between morning, afternoon, evening, or any. If you have an attachment, like a user manual, you can attach it at the bottom of the form by clicking Add Attachments. This is optional. Go ahead and click on Request. Once you have clicked Request, another pop-up will appear. This is just a confirmation of your information. Click Request once again. You will now be redirected to a confirmation page that will give you your request number, the state it is in, and when it was requested. If you happen to leave this page and would like to see this particular request again, head back to the customer portal and just log back in. Then click on the My Requests link found on the top toolbar at the top of your screen. On the next page, click on the green words under the requested items header. You will be brought to the hardware installation page for this request. It will show you the RITM number, the state it is in, when it was created, and when it was updated. This could be when you have added information or a tech has added information. Anything the tech enters will be on the left side of the screen. Things that you have entered will be on the right side of the screen. If you need to communicate with the tech, you can input messages in the field that says type your message here and then select send. 